Sorry. Right, we couldn't see them, but we could hear them. So we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for you know, two, three minutes, Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? A hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three and to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police in the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, I, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh, yeah, they blew his head off. You, okay, sorry. Secret Service just, blew his head off. Okay, we just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was. Right. We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed the guy crawling army, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun right, he had rifle, we could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely, um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground, we're like, hey man, there's guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, how, what, you know, like, like they didn't know what was going on, you know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see him from right here. We see him, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two, three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the 100%, 100%. And he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was, you saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four minutes and you were telling the police in the secret service we were telling the police we were pointing at them for the secret service who were looking at us from from the top of the barn they were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree could they see barnoculars could they see him probably not because the roof the way that the slope went he was behind where they could see but but why is there not secret service on all of these roofs here i mean this is not a big place did you see i mean obviously everyone when the shooting started everyone was very panicked did, did you see what happened to him at all oh yeah they blew his head off okay sorry secret service blew his head off okay just be careful because we don't know no who's watching but you're pretty sure they 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 shot the guy absolutely 100 percent okay yep you saw that happen yep yep okay yep and did you see them go up to him afterwards? Or they, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed out and make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. It appears that Donald Trump has been hit in the right ear after this attempted assassination at his rally in Pennsylvania today. The law enforcement officials have said that the former president was quickly pulled away by the Secret Service agents and his campaign.
Hain team now say that he's doing fine the attack by a shooter who law enforcement officials say was neutralized by the Secret Service was the first attempt to assassinate a president or presidential candidate since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. It comes during a turbulent period in American political history just four months from the presidential elections and days before Trump is to be officially named the Republican nominee at his party's convention. Two officials have said that the shooter was not an attendee at the rally and was killed by us Secret Service agents. Eyewitnesses are said to have seen a man climbing on a roof for several minutes before the shooting began. Uh, the official said the shooter was engaged by members of the U.S. Secret Service counter-assault team and killed the heavily armed tactical team travels everywhere with former presidents and current presidents and major party nominees and is meant to confront any active threats while other agents focus on safeguarding and evacuating the person at the center of the protection. Butler County District Attorney Richard Goldener said uh, in a phone interview that the suspected gunman was dead and at least one rally attendee was killed. Trump was at the time showing off a chart of border crossing numbers during his last rally before the RNC on Monday when the shots began. It took two minutes from the moment of the first shot for Trump to be placed in a, in a waiting SUV. In the video pictures that we've seen, the Secret Service rushed on top of Donald Trump to try and protect him. Uh, he looks quite bewildered. He, his hair is tussled, his shirt is open, and you can see blood. Around his right ear, he then, as he's being removed from the from the podium, appears to mouth the words fight and fist pumps the air several times as the first pop rang out Trump said oh and grabbed his ear as two more pops could be heard and he crouched down. We then hear more shots and someone can be heard from the crowd near the microphone at the at the lectern say get down, get down, get down as agents tackled the former president piling on top of him to shield them, shield him with their with their bodies as their as is their training protocol as other agents took up his positions on stage to search for the threat. Many screams were heard in the crowd of several thousand people. A woman is heard screaming louder than the rest afterward. Voices were heard saying shooters down several times before someone said, are we good to move? And are we clear? And then someone ordered, let's move. Trump could be heard on the video saying at least twice, let me get my shoes, let me get my shoes, with another voice saying, I got you, sir. Trump got to his feet moments later and could be seen reaching with his right hand towards his face. There appeared to be blood on his face. He then and pumped his fist in the air and then mouthed the word fight twice to his crowd of supporters, prompting loud cheers and chants of USA, USA, USA. The crowd cheered as he got back up and pumped his fist. The motorcade left the venue moments later video showed Trump turning back to the crowd and then raising a fist before he is put into a vehicle and the police began vacating the fair ground shortly after Trump left the stage in what local officials described now as a crime scene of the latest that we have is that the up president Joe Biden has a made a statement on he's called for the widespread condemnation of political violence following the shooting. He said the bottom line is the Trump rally is a rally that he should have been able to conduct peacefully without any problem. But the idea that their political violence or violence in America, let this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. Everybody must condemn it. Joe Biden said, asked uh, if he believed Trump was the victim of an assassination attempt. Biden said, I don't know enough. I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts right now. And uh, Biden said he was hoping to speak with Donald Trump after the death, not just of the shooter, but after the death of somebody in that rally crowd. He said, I've tried to get a hold of Donald. He's with his doctors, apparently. He's been doing well. I plan on talking to him shortly. I hope when I get back to the telephone, Biden said, um, it's being reported that the Biden campaign is now pausing all outbound communications and working to pull down television ads as quickly as possible uh, out of respect for, oh, I guess that the deceased, I'm a person in the crowd. And for this, a situation which is not something that um, anybody would, 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 would wish upon anybody, no matter what political side of the, of the spectrum you are on, there is absolutely no call or reason for political violence. And whilst we condemn the policy of, of a political candidates are utilizing our, our rights both as journalists but also our First Amendment rights. We would never suggest that political violence is used or any kind of violence, let alone an assassination attempt that has been seen in this way. And it's very important that we remember that our level of civility is always necessary when dealing with political candidates and in presidents past and in present. 
because their lives are at risk and individuals often cannot, you know, present their own version, their, their own interpretation of a language that is often used in, in politics, and as we see with lone gunmen or lone wolves, as they're often called their manifestos, when when discovered are often extremist political propaganda, and you know whilst we don't have any information right now on, on this shooter, I have no doubt that as the investigation rolls on we will get a sense of why Donald Trump was targeted on this day. I'm Anthony Davis, you can catch me on the 5-Minute News, a YouTube channel, and podcast.